San Juanan, Tobel, dear staff and students. As we sail the choppy waters of the fourth industrial revolution, it is also important that we carry our, our staff and students along this journey so that our university community embraces its currency and leave the brand. As from Monday, new faces with a strong allegiance to the fourth industrial revolution will begin to grace our four campuses in the form of television screens. The screens, which will go live on the 22nd of April 2019, are part of our brand new Campus TV Network project, a digital platform to communicate and share vital information with staff and students. They will be positioned in strategic public locations, broadcasting public lectures and book launch invitations, student and staff activities, as well as local and international news. These screens are part of our plans to align our university and its infrastructure to Industry 4.0 and enhance its fitness for global excellence and stature strategy. Congratulations to all teams that worked on this exciting initiative. I hope you enjoy the content once the screens go live. Fellow colleagues and dear students, our university has been investing in futuristic initiatives to boost its accredited research output. I am glad to share with you that our vision has yielded positive results as reaffirmed by the recent report of the Department of Higher Education and Training on research outputs. UJ made its debut among South Africa's top five universities. The Department of Higher Education and Training report indicates an impressive growth in UJ's research output and research productivity. This achievement is a result of the establishment and renewal of research niches, centers, and focus groups across specific areas, all across the technological and academic disciplines. These include the natural, economic, and financial, as well as management sciences, engineering, and the humanities. We couldn't have done this without attracting some of the country's leading minds and top postgraduate students. Congratulations to Professor Sorab Sina, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Research and Internationalization, and the academic and professional support staff who contributed to this significant outcome for our university. I'm also delighted to share the good news that Mr. Rendani Mampiswana, a PhD candidate in engineering management specializing in innovation management at UJ, and myself, have been appointed as members of the Presidential Commission on the Fourth Industrial Revolution. I'm particularly thrilled that I have been appointed as the Deputy Chair of the Commission. The Commission, which will be chaired by the President of the country, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, will assist government in taking advantage of the opportunities presented by Industry 4.0. The 30-member team will identify relevant policies strategies and action plans that will position South Africa as a competitive global player to benefit its people. These achievements came against the backdrop of our university recognizing any array of individuals who have played an outstanding role in changing the lives of fellow people in their countries and across the world. Yesterday, 11 April 2019, our university conferred an honorary doctoral degree to the President of the People's Republic of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping. China's Ambassador to South Africa, His Excellency Lin Songxian, received the accolade on behalf of the President of China at our graduation ceremony in the Sanlam Auditorium. This week on Tuesday, the 9th of April 2019, I engaged with staff, students and the public on what happened with the Ethiopian Boeing 737 MAX, which crashed en route to Kenya in March this year. My talk, which took place at the Johannesburg Institute for Advanced Study, explored the stability of controllers and how the structure of our education system can ensure that we have the capacity to analyze these crucial technologies rather than looking to Europe, Asia, and North America. Oh, furthermore, on the 10th of April 2019, 
I gave a talk to the United Nations Association of South Africa on how our students can exploit developments in the fourth industrial revolution. This organization is preparing our students to be ready to take international roles in organizations such as the WTO, the United Nations, the World Health Organizations, and others. In the world of the fourth industrial revolution, one standout principle that is emerging as a fundamental aspect of the change our societies are undergoing is speed. Another, as disciplines merge, partnerships assert themselves and interconnectedness dominates is teamwork. The question being debated represents a radical reassessment. Is the academic thesis obsolete? In this regard, Professor Ilva Rodney Gumede, Dr. Sean McCoy, Angus Donald Campbell, and Dr. Juliet Daniel presented valuable insights in answering these questions on Wednesday, the 10th of April, 2019, at our Johannesburg Business School studio. The College of Business and Economics has been making waves in their field attaining some achievements. Please join me in congratulating Professor Dani Kutsie of the Department of Accountancy, Professor Fiona Tregena, Sachi Chair in Industrial Development, Professor Carl Manevik, Department of Applied Information Systems, and Ms. Natalia Kopilova, a PhD candidate in the college for their various achievements recently. Professor Kutie has been announced as the best professor in accountancy studies at the 2019 South Africa Education Leadership Awards, while Professor Tregena has been reappointed by President Ramaphosa as a part-time member of the competition tribunal. Professor Manevik, meanwhile, has been elected to serve as South Africa's representative on the European Academy of Management Board for the period 2019 to 2022. Ms. Kopilova received an educational travel grant from the International Society for Quality of Life Studies. The grant enables her to present her research titled The Subjective Well-Being of the Elderly in countries in transition, Russia and South Africa, at the upcoming conference in Grenada. Well done to all of you. Additionally, please also allow me to congratulate our UJ under 17 soccer player, Wulelani Mkwanazi, for winning the Gauteng Future Champion Award and a trip to Spain. She was the star of the Gauteng Future Champions regional girls team, including UJ under 16s Taminuk, Adams and Zara Wilkinson that won the tournament which is sponsored by the Spanish Premier League, La Liga. Wulelani, the UJ community is proud of you. As we head into the national elections, on May 8, a new study released by our university's Center for Social Development in Africa reveals the complexity and nuance of voter choices. Led by Professor Laila Patel, UJ Sachi Chair in Welfare and Social Development, this study is the first empirical test of voting behavior determinants conducted in the country, which attempts to understand why potential voters support their party of choice. The university community is saddened to learn of the death of Professor Jan Peter Tilange, the former rector of the Rand Africans University. On Tuesday, the 9th of April, 2019, he was the rector of Rao from 1979 to 1987. He was 93 years old. On behalf of the university community, I express my sincere condolences to the family friends and colleagues of Professor Dilange. We wish his family find strength during this difficult time. Lastly, next Tuesday, the 16th of April, 2019, my family will be making a donation to the University of Johannesburg 
in favor of a scholarship called Chiami Omarada Scholarship. This scholarship will help fund rural female postgraduate students pursuing their studies in engineering. I thank you. Niabonga. Bye, Danki.